Order. The result of the division is ayes 73, noes 73. The question is therefore tied, which requires me to exercise a casting vote. And as I've outlined to the House before, I exercise the casting vote in accordance with the principles that are long established and are outlined in the House of Representatives practice on page 183. Hello and welcome to About the House. The seventh edition of House of Representatives practice is now available. The practice is a key book used to interpret the standing orders and understand the hows and whys of procedure in the House. Speaker of the House Tony Smith references the practice more often than most. So we joined him to learn just what a new edition means. Well, it's very important. I mean, you've got the standing orders that are the rules of the House, but the practice, of course, is the consolidated history of the interpretation of those standing orders. So uh, it has precedence in there, uh, how previous speakers have dealt with similar situations. So it's a very important guide, not just for me, but for members of parliament as well. The other critical thing for members and, mem and members of the public uh, wishing to read the practice is it outlines wonderful history about the early parliaments, about how the parties were formed, how the two party system came into being uh, in uh, our second decade of federation and all the changes that have, that have occurred since then. So it's, uh, uh, and it is a really good consolidated uh, history. Uh, with obviously the lists of Prime Ministers, leaders of the opposition, every event that's occurred in the House. So as a history text, uh, it, it is first class. The seventh edition includes references from the 43rd, 44th and 45th parliaments between 2012 and 2018. In that time, Australia has seen more than a few parliamentary milestones, as well as multiple governments and speakers. Clerk of the House, David Elder, edited the new edition of the practice. I mean, it captures, you know, the very important events of 2016. We had the first, um, you know, prorogation of the House without uh, dissolution for uh, about 40 years. And, and then, of course, followed uh, not long after by, you know, a double dissolution of the House and, and really the, the first double dissolution for 30 years. So they, they were very sort of significant uh, developments. Importantly, uh, issues to do with the um, Section 44 um, of the Constitution, the d disqualification of members, particularly for those issues of, of citizenship. So, you know, it, it's really captured that. The new edition of the practice covers the Speaker's first years in the role meaning that the most commonly cited text in the chamber now includes references to decisions he has made in the chair. It, it is interesting um, when, particularly on the casting votes, I suppose, because um, for me, prior to becoming speaker, I'd, I'd never seen um, uh, an instance uh, of a, um, a, such a focus on casting votes on, on key matters. Certainly there were casting votes in that minority period. But uh, as a private member back then, I wasn't as familiar, obviously, as I am now with the principles a speaker should adopt. You know, that the casting vote is not really my vote to give according to my opinion. It is a vote based on uh, historical principles that are laid out very clearly in the practice. It's the only place they're laid out uh, of how previous speakers have uh, adopted that Vote. So for me, that's been the most important um, thing, I think, uh, in this parliament and an understanding of uh, why I've cast those votes on those three occasions uh, absolutely according to, to the principles. Thanks for watching. House of Representatives practice is available online at aph.gov.au forward slash practice. Print copies will be available for sale soon in the Parliament House shop and online.